Hello, my name is Reese Johnson. Um, if you've never been on my channel before, I usually make sketch comedy videos, but I've taken a step back and I wanted to learn more about filmmaking and please don't be too harsh on me because this is like my first video essay that I've ever made. I made one a year ago or something like that, um, but it, it's not really a video essay, I wouldn't consider it. It was mainly just me in awe of 20th century women, so. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy this video that you're about to watch and um, thank you for sticking around. Uh, go get some popcorn, anything else that you want and enjoy this thing. At its core, Mumblecore is, wait, just, just hang on one second. Cause we gotta go back, way, way back <laughs> to the 2000s where I was born and also Capri Pants. Anyways, the creator of Mumblecore, Andrew Budowski, became popular for his feature film, Funny Ha Ha, which was released in April 16th, 2005 to Sundance, I believe. I'm actually not 100% sure, but um, uh, you can look it up. At the time, he didn't realize that his film would create a whole nother subgenre of film that people use to this day. Funny Ha Ha, it's about this young woman that's trying to navigate adulthood after graduating college. I know the plot is kind of short, but that's what made it stand out. Now back to what Mumblecore is. So you may be asking yourself, what is Mumblecore? Well, it is a genre of film that focuses primarily on the lives of younger people. It focuses on creating great characters and great relationships between those characters and less on plot. A lot of the time characters rarely say what they mean and a lot of the time they actually don't know what they mean. This genre of film bloomed because of its low-key naturalism, lo-fi production values, and a stream of low-volume chatter. So. You're sitting there with your juice box and or your popcorn and you're thinking to yourself, how do I make this? How do I make this happen? How do I make a mumblecore film so that I can be the next Duplus brother? Well, just, just hang on a second. Um, that's too many questions, but um, I'll give you some ideas so that you can incorporate if you want to participate in this film movement. One, don't focus so much on plot and story. So obviously you should have a story in mind, but I think, I believe, and this is just my own opinion, that you should create a simple story and focus more on creating unique and original characters. To create a story from your own personal life or just try to create a young person that doesn't know where to go in life. That's pretty much all you need right there. Number two, write amazing characters. If you're not focusing on plot, you need to have amazing characters because nobody wants to watch a movie that where they can't relate to characters unless it's an action film. I have nothing against action films. I just, uh, it's just an example. My advice for this would be to create characters that you know in real life to represent them. Because in my opinion, I feel like this is easier than trying to create a whole nother person from scratch because you know them and you know how they act. If you don't know any people, which um, is kind of weird, but if you don't, um, then just go people watching or just, you know, try to create characters that you see on movies or TV shows um, and try to develop your own person, basically, like your own Frankenstein. Three, craft great dialogue. You really need great dialogue because most of Bumblecore films are dialogue. I personally feel like I'm very bad at writing dialogue, <laughs> but um, if you just keep writing and not give up on the project and maybe like ask people to read it for you and let them give you advice on it, 
that will help you become a better dialogue writer and writer in general. Also, I watched a video that if you want to get better at writing dialogue, that you should record conversations that people have, um, which is pretty creepy, but um, it could work. And that is pretty much the end of the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this was informative to you in any way. I personally love mumblecore films and they really inspire me to make my own films. If you are planning on writing a mumblecore film, please let me know your idea. Um, I won't steal it. Now I, now you might think I am going to steal it because I said that. I'm not going to steal it, but I'm, I'm, okay. Um, <laughs> if you want to watch some mobile horror movies, I will link them down below so you can go check them out. And I will also link some articles um, if this wasn't informative enough. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please, if you can reach it, please just click the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.